I'm Anil Kumar, sharing with you a question from a test paper. In a magic square, the numbers in each row, the numbers in each column, and the numbers on each diagonal have the same sum. Find the value of A, B, and C in the given magic square. So that's the 3 by 3 magic square. You need to find the values of A, B, C, and D so that the sum of rows, columns, and diagonals is exactly the same. You can pause the video, copy the question, answer, and then look into my suggestions. Now, whenever you have a magic square like this, we need to create some relation between the variables. Since the sum is same, let's think about the first row and the first column. Now, I can write sum of first column as a plus 19 plus 12, right? And I can write sum of the first row as A plus 13 plus B. Now, these two sums are equal. So, we can write equal to statement. Since it is given, the sum of each row and column is exactly same. Now, we can solve this equation. So, what we have is A plus something, A plus something. We can take away A from both the sides. And then we can solve for B. So now we can write, taking 13 to the left side, B as equals to 19 plus 12 minus 13, right? So, so that gives us 18 as the value for B. Once we have the value of B, we can find sum of rows and columns. So now let us look into column 3. So let me write down here on the side. Now, column number 3. Let's find the sum of this column. Sum of this column is, we'll, root, we'll write B as 18, right? So let, we got this as 18, correct? So it is 18 plus 11 plus 16, right? So that becomes the sum of this column. Adding these numbers, 8 plus 1, 9, 9 plus 6, 25, 9 plus 6 is 15, 5, plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 45. So that means sum of this column is 45. Now we can use this 45 as sum of each and every column, row, or even the diagonals, correct? Now let's find the value of A. We know sum should be 45, correct? Therefore, A should be equal to 45 take away 19, take away 12. Since the sum is 45, right? I mean, take away 12. So that gives us the value of A, 14, take away these two, which is we have to take away 31. So when we take away 31 from 45, we get 14. So the value of A is 14. You can check the result. 4 plus 9 is 13, plus 2, 15, we get 5, 1 carry, so we get 45, correct? Now we can find the value of C. C should be equal to 45, take away 11 and 19, right? So take away 19 and take away 11. So that gives us 19 and 11 total is 30, right? So when you take away 30, you get 15 as the value of C. To find the value of D, we could take away from 45 the sum of 12 and 16. So we can take away 12 and then we can take away 16 to get the value of D, right? So from 5, if you take away 12, I mean, so 5 take away 2 is 3, and when you take away, so what we'll do is, we can add this and then take away from 45, right? So 45 minus 28, let's do that, okay, no problem. And then 15 take away 8 is 7, and 3 take away 2 is 1, so we get 17. So these are the numbers from 11 to 19 which will give us the required criteria, right? So now we can write down our answer. So our answer here is 
a equals to 14 b equals to 18 c is equal to 15 and d is equal to 17 right so that is how you can actually solve this magic square i hope the strategy helps thank you and all the best